Welcome back to my channel everyone. This is Donnie and you're watching Diamond Painting by Donnie. I have some new releases today to show you from Star Roar. And here they are. So um, I think these are being released on February 5th. So if uh, you want to purchase one of these, I think this video will be up on February 5th. So it will be perfect. And I did get them on Amazon. I will leave you a link down below as to where to find them. They each have their own separate listings now instead of them being put all into one big um, listing. So since I was able to get these on Amazon, I'm not sure how they're only be re being released tomorrow on the 5th. I, I'm honestly not sure how that works, but that is what she told me. So that is what I'm telling you, but they're probably available right now. So this first one, I'm going to show you. Um, it is called The Little Mermaid, and here is the image of it. And I'm sure you've seen this one before, but Star Roar always adds special things to it. Like this one's got AB drills in it. And let's see, here is the inventory or checklist uh, that comes with it that you can use for kitting it up. Take a copy of it and you can cut out your symbols um like i would copy it and then cut um the these two columns and then i run them through my xyron sticker maker and i make sticker labels out of them try to find where the center is because i moved my camera but this one has 25 colors and wow it's got one two three four five different ab colors so you can see Right there, she puts AB after each number that has an AB color. And I love how the symbol she uses is always letters and numbers. So they're really easy to read, easy to organize. And this pamphlet here is also, it's a, it's not just your inventory. It's got your instructions on how to do diamond painting in a nice foldable pamphlet and it tells you everything that comes in the package. All right, so here are the drills and they always include those nine of these wax cover sheets because a lot of people who do the clear covers they don't like the clear covers so she provides these so that you can replace the clear cover with the wax sheets all right so let's look at this canvas uh, first of all well wait here's your toolkit best toolkit ever comes in a resealable pouch you get your drill pin with a squishy and one of the plastic tip single placers and you get a pair of scoop black scoop tweezers which work great for rounds and you also get oh look well you get a white tray and you get wax and look it's a blue heart wax isn't that cute? You get a small row straightener. You get a thin seven placer, a thin four placer, and you get enough baggies. I love these baggies to kit this project up. So there's 25 colors. So there are 25 baggies, including the one that the baggies come in so you would use this one as well as the 24 that are inside and that 
concludes what's in the toolkit. And now we will look at this canvas. So pretty. Look at those beautiful can colors. And this is these are done on a lint canvas. As you can see, it's a softer material. And that is partially why your canvas straightens up rather quickly. Now I'm going to be hanging these in the closet, so I am going to actually pull back the cover so we can get the wrinkles out of the cover. But this is poured glue. So beautiful. Look how shiny that is. And I'm just going to replace it. Because I love to have, I love the feel of the clear covers on these when they're perfectly, perfectly adhered to the canvas like this. So I got some wrinkles. I'll have to deal with that later when I go to hang it up. Okay, so oh, there's something on it. Let me get my tweezers here. Looks like a piece of the lint got on the canvas, but it is so sticky. Even with me pulling this off, it's not going to, hopefully not going to affect the stickiness in this spot. Okay, got it off. Yeah, I might have to add some sticky to it because it did leave a bald spot there. But that does happen once in a while when you have this type of canvas and poured glue going on in a factory. So the colors that are going to be A, B are V, T, R, Y, and S. So that's quite a bit. So V is this yellow on flounder. So all of this is going to be A, B, all that yellow. And it's over in here. Everywhere you see yellow, <clears throat> it's going to be A, B. And that's about it. I don't see any more yellow further down. And so that is the first one. And then the next one is T, which we also have in here. This is part of his coloring is this little bit of green over here and down in here. So all these green spots, these light green spots, those are going to be AB as well. And you're going to get it over here. And also the V in her fl the flower in her hair is also AB and w the T goes down further even it it's in the greenery down in here over in here all the way down to the bottom the next color is R which is a red and that's going to be in her hair part way so it's going to be this lighter red right here so it's there and here here and these red pieces up here also are a b and then more in her hair down here down here a little tiny bit over on the side here and it goes down here in um, sebastian little bits of him are going to be a b as well those red parts and then some over here L the last bits of her hair poking through behind her arm the next one is Y which is a pink so the this shell that she's got holding up is a B right in there and in here and in her the flower in her hair and the shell up here have the Y so those are going to also be a b a little bit over in here and it's in spots down in here in this flower arrangement and then sebastian's face is also a b the last color is s which is 5200 so it's white and that's throughout here as well like in the these bubbles those are going to be 
A, B. Well, this one, and then these over here, this one here, here and here. Uh, the rest of this shell right in here, that's going to be that white AB in her eyes, the whites of her eyes. And we've got more bubbles that go down through here, over here, and then a little bit down here at the bottom. So her, the main part of her body, that's going to be regular round drills. Um, but there are going to be... There is a lot of ABs in this um, canvas. So let's look at the drills. Um, this actually, this costs $20.99. It's a 47 by 35 uh, drill area, as you can see here. And, well, <laughs> right here, the fabric size is uh, 39 by 52, drill area 50, uh, 35 by 47. And you do have the number of packages that are included. So 30, 3371 is going to have two packages. Everything else should have one. So I can see the AB is right off the bat. <clears throat> They're right here at the beginning. I'm going to double check that these match this diamond painting, which just by seeing the colors, I'm pretty sure it does on here. Okay. You see the R13 TLMY and that matches up with this right here. R13 TLMY. So these are the appropriate drills for this painting. And let's see. So let's look at the colors. So here's our 5200 AB. Um, then we've got the pink, which is the Y, the R. And a lot of colors jumped over from the green into the red. But when I kit up, what I do is... I do them in in a row so when I go to let's say get one so when I get to this one I'll pick out all the ones that don't match and then I put them in with the next one that I kid up which would be this one because that's what they match to same with this one I will pull out the greens and then add them to this and if there's any of the yellows in here I will move them over to here because that's what happens when they are getting uh packaged up through the machine. Sometimes they jump to the next color and that makes it easy to figure out which color they go to because nine times out of 10, they're going to be in the one that's right next to it. But anyway, here are the AB colors. There's the white and the pink and then the red and then our green and our yellow. So there's a lot of AB colors in this. And then I'm guessing this is her skin tone. And there's all these other bright, beautiful colors. We got some really dark browns here. And it looks like this is the other packet to it. Let's see. Yeah. The second packet. It skipped a couple, but there's the second packet for it. And Yeah, there we go. So really pretty ABs. I love working with ABs because it gives just that extra sparkle to a diamond painting, especially when they're placed in the appropriate spots. So let me put this all away and I will be right back to show you the second, the second one. All right, um, for the second one, this one is called uh, You Are Beloved and this is what it looks like. I'm looking forward to all these beautiful colors in this. So here is our <laughs> sheet. This one has 25 colors. 
Um, the listing says 23 colors, so, um, you know, there's 25, so maybe a couple were added after the, um, listing was made, so I'm going to just change that on my book, and this does have ABs in it, it has, uh, five of them, so let's get looking. Take a look at that. What am I? I'm what the okay. There's our drills, and let's get the little papers out. There they are. All right. So let's look at this canvas. Now I thought I was going to have some color blocking going on. Oh, same kit, but. There is very little color blocking in this. There is a lot of uh, blending with the colors. So this is good. It's not really confetti unless, you know, you're looking up in these places, these spots where it's getting, where it's blending. So there is some color blocking in through the certain spots where it's not blending. Even in the middle, there's a few spots, but it's not a lot like you'd think with something that has this many colors. Uh, you know, like down in here, there's a bit of color blocking because of the squares that we see, but not a lot, like I said. <laughs> and this is also a 35 by 47. Uh, now, yeah, the canvas says 25 colors as well. One, two, three, yeah, five AB. So the first AB is the letter C. It looks like it's a very pale pink or maybe a purple. Um, I'm not sure unless I, oh, until I open the drills, but it looks like it's pink. So where is the letter C? There's a lot to look through here. Um, hmm. I'm having a hard time finding it. The letter C. Well, I'll keep my eye out for it while, as we're looking for the other ones, but... I, uh, yeah, I can't seem to see it. The next one is V, which is a yellow, and I do see V starts up in here uh, at the top of the heart. So it's right in there, over on the edge, a little bit here, over in here, on the right-hand side of the heart, through the middle, a little bit in the, the lettering, of the words and in between some of the words so and it's blending in in here and we've got it more down here a lot more in here so there's actually a lot of the letter V and then you're gonna see it over here on the side over in here down in these blocks and this one and then a little bit over in this one and over here our next one is P which is a green so same thing it's mixed in it's right here in the middle of the O and it blends through here and uh, quite a bit down in here a little bit here um, one, there's one right there, and then there's more over here on the edge in this square. And then at the bottom, more here, a little bit here. Let's go back up. We're going to see it over here in this background area. And a little bit in the heart up in here, just over here, like uh, underneath where the yellow is. And then there's some in the O. And one right there in the middle of the 
where the two parts of the heart meet, right in the center there. Yeah, okay, so the next one is J, which also looks like it's a pale pink, very light pink. And let's see. Hmm. I am not seeing that one either. Okay, here, here are a couple right here in the middle. Right where the lettering is. So we've got just a couple of them right there. So it's mixed in. I'm wondering if the C is in here too. Because so far, this is the only place I, I can see the J is just a little bit in this section. Um, yeah, that's right here too. It's like part, it's parts of the letters. It's just a very, very few because it's only on this side. I don't see it anywhere else. And yeah, it's in this, in the rest of the lettering too here. Let's see. There's a tiny, there's one there, but it's mostly over on this side where you see the pinks and the reds. Okay, yeah, and then there's a little bit up in here, the J. I still can't see the letter C. You know, it might just be a small patch of it somewhere. And I, I normally can catch it, but I'm just not catching it tonight. Okay, so there's a big spot right here. J almost looks like it's white on the canvas because this whole white spot right there is J. And then the last one is X, which is white. And that is going to be found around all the lettering. There's X's all the way around all of the letters, so... So I'm going to have to ask her where C is because I can't, I can't find it. <laughs> That's so strange. Oh, wait, you know what? I'm, I'm, I was so blind. I see it. There we go. Right in this whole block right here. You can see all the letter C. <laughs> oh, wow. You know, if it was a snake, it would have bit me. So there is more of it over here in there and then it's over in this square as well all of that so there's uh c x and j mixed in there but i think that might be the only place that they have um the letter c which it's quite a bit uh but at least i found it <laughs> all right um let's look at these drills Okay, where do you open? There we go. All right, let's double check. This is R13. Y A B Y. R13. Whoop. R one three Y A B Y. Yep, these are the correct ones. All right, so oh, so beautiful colors. Look at the purples and the pinks. A little bit of browns. I like to call this color mulberry. I've been liking the that name. See, I actually put just put these in the shop. And I named them mulberry, and they do match. See? It could be called a wine color, too, but 
and orange and more pink and blues and yellows and greens and more pink and look at that like baby yellow that's a really soft yellow oh I love that blue color and this one okay here are our this one is this is the C, letter C, and that's just the regular one. And then we have V, and this is P, and this one I think is J. Yep, that's the J, and that's the X. Now, for people who don't know what AB is, if you look close, you can see there's like a coating on top of the drills. And that's the AB coating. It's short for Aurora Borealis, which it they call it that because when you tilt it, it gives off different colors like the Northern Lights do. So they called it they call it AB, and it just gives extra sparkle to the spots that these drills are on to highlight the diamond painting. All right, so guys, this is her. These are two of her new releases. I think she had four new ones, and you can find them on Amazon. If they are out of stock of them on Amazon, you can always find them on StarRoar.com. It does take a little longer to get to you from um, their store in China, but um, Amazon, you know, they have Prime shipping on Amazon, but they do run out at times. So. Let me know how you like Star Wars diamond paintings. I love them. I love how hard um, Lucy from Star Wars works on making these diamond paintings. And if there's any problems, she always makes it right. She is a very lovely lady, and I would do anything to help support her and her business. So that is why I love to show her diamond paintings, and I love to do them too because they're they're always a pleasure to work on. And the ABs, she's always got something special to them that she does in the charting because she does the charting herself on these so let me know down below what you think of star or what do you think of these new diamond paintings and uh don't forget to hit that like button it really helps my channel tremendously if you do and i will see you guys in my next video have fun diamond painting and don't forget to always sparkle wherever you go and whatever you do take care everyone bye